Welcome to Guest Tutorials, and in this video, I'll be doing practice problem 9.1. Now, given the sinusoid, we are asked to find the amplitude, the angular frequency, the phase, and the natural or fundamental frequency. Right, so the general form, let's go back to the general form of a sinusoid. It is of this form. This is T, where A is our amplitude. And this is a trig function, which represents the sinusoid as a time varying function. And this is our angular frequency. This is time, and this here is our phase. So let's go back to the question. We are asked to find an amplitude. So this corresponds with this A over here, and therefore the amplitude is five. The amplitude is five. And the angular frequency, which is found before this T, to us here, we're given, we're given this as four pi, and the phase is negative 60. Looking at the general form of the sinusoid being positive, so we even take this sign, so it's going to be negative 60 degrees. And finally, the frequency. So when we're looking at, let me just take this time to do a little tutorial on sinusoids, right? So when you're looking at DC, which is um, what you've been dealing with for most of the textbook, this is what you basically have. If you have 12 volts, it's supplied constantly as 12 volts. DC stands for direct current. But now we're dealing with AC, which is time varying. And it is represented by a signal, which is of this form. Now this signal is time varying. And that is why we have T in here, because it's dependent on time. And we also have a phase, which controls the shift of this. And this is also a periodic signal. And therefore, we are interested in, in period and frequency. Now, the angular, the angular frequency, W, is equals to, equals to 2 pi F, right? Which means F is equals to W divided by 2 pi. And this is our frequency. And this period is the reciprocal of the frequency, which is equals to 1 over F or the frequency is the reciprocal of the time. It, it applies either way, which is one over T. And therefore we'll have T, which is the period in seconds as two pi divided by W, right? So these are our formulas. This is time in period, time in seconds. This is frequency in Hertz. And this is angular frequency in radians per second. Now coming back to a question, we also find the frequency, so we apply this formula over here. So we are going to say 4 pi, which is our angular frequency, delta divided by 2 pi, using this formula over here. And we're going to get our frequency in hertz. So this cancels out, and that goes twice in A. And therefore, our frequency is 2 hertz. And that is how you answer this problem.